So in this video, I thought I'd break down how to do customized styling in just the standard Mendix chart widget. Um, and on the screen here, you can see I've, I've built a little demo app. I've got uh, just a standard pie chart on the left and I've got a customized pie, pie chart on the right. The customizations I've done here, are, you know, I've added the hole to the pie chart to make it a donut chart. I have customized the colors and I have moved the legend uh, from the top right down to bottom center of the chart. These seem like really simple customizations. Uh, one of them is, uh, two of them are not. And we will step through uh, how I did this and look at some tips and tricks to do it along the way. So first of all, let's look at Mendix Studio Pro. And in Mendix Studio Pro, you can see uh, the representation of the demo app. We'll look at the pie chart on the left. Uh, it's getting some data, it's all configured. Um, uh, one thing I could edit here is is the the whole radius, so I can set that up. So now it's a donut chart. That was the easy customization. Now we'll try and do the the more advanced ones. So we're not going to find uh, any settings, any parameters here that we can change. We could play around with the dimensions in the dimensions tab. That's it. They're just the size of it. Uh, we have to head over to the advanced tab, and. Uh, we're going to start to be able to play around with the custom layout field. Now, the, the real challenge here is what do we put in this field to get the chart to uh, change and, and customize and style it. So to get that answer, uh, we'll, we'll go to, uh, to Google. Um, I want you to type in Plotly. Now, Plotly is the data visualization framework uh, that the Mendix chart widget is built on. And I'm talking from around Mendix 9 onwards, might be earlier, but that's when I started using Mendix. Um, now, if we, if we just go in here, we're not going to find much. Um, so what you actually want to Google is Plotly Chart Studio. Now, Plotly Chart Studio is where we can start to have a bit of fun. And um, you could just start playing around with it. You can see it just drops you straight into a demo. Um, I suggest signing up for an account that's gonna unlock a couple of features. It's a free account, uh, nothing to pay. And um, I'm just gonna click New Chart and get the ball rolling here. So what we're doing in Plotly Chart Studio is we're gonna build the type of chart we want we're going to customize it the way we want it and you can fully customize the chart and then we're going to bring some of the customizations back in the form of JSON code to our uh, to that field in, in Medic Studio Pro. So uh, I'll just add some data. Uh, that could be 20. Oz can be 15. Uh, New Zealand can be 10. And so I've got my data just in like an Excel format. Then I need to add a trace and the trace is the chart. So I'm gonna select a pie chart and my values are in column B, my labels are in column A. So now we have a chart that looks very much like the default chart uh, back in Mendix. The colors are different, but the layout's the same. This is the same chart, this is exactly the, the Plotly chart that's used by the, uh, the Mendix chart widget. But like we said, we wanted to color, customize some stuff. So over on the left here, we've got theme. We could just go in and choose uh, a different theme for our chart. Boom, that's made a difference. Um, we can also, I mean, that's, that's a start. <laughs> it's the easiest thing to do. Uh, also, you can jump into the style and you can start playing around with uh, some of the general styling. Um, there's heaps of options. I'm not going into all of it. Um, the styling of the traces. So that's actually the uh, the, the data in the, in the widget. And I think if I change this color one, it's going to yeah. There we go. Customize the colors, and I'll find something that I want. Uh, you can customize this further, and I'll show you how. But that's the the one I've used in my demo. 
And so now I've got the colors I want. I also wanted to change the position of the legend. So there is an option for that under the style tab. And uh, I want the, uh, I want it to be horizontal. That's moved it down the bottom. And I can uh, change the positioning vertically. Okay, it's probably okay there. And the position left to right. So I can get it just where I want it. Maybe move it down a smidge more. Whoa, wrong way there. Okay, so that's looking better. And I'm not going to worry about the hole because we can manage that in the widget. So this is looking roughly like I want. And of course you could play around with this for a long time. You could get everything looking pixel perfect. Now, I've made the changes here. How do I get them back into Mendix? If I go to, uh, there's a section here called JSON and there's the tree. Um, I'm going to be able to start looking through the JSON, uh, um, kind of the structure of the JSON that is going to affect the styling. So everything I want is in the, well, in this case, is in the layout uh, node of that tree. And uh, if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to see things like pie colorway. So that's actually the, all the colors that we're seeing in the pie chart. Um, also, I've got legend as a node here, and that's got my orientation and all the information there. Now, it would be very annoying to have to copy and paste all of this and to make it into correct JSON format, and I'm not gonna do that. Uh, like I said, if you sign up for a Plotly account, so there's features, when you have an account, you unlock features like to be able to save your charts. And when I go to save, I'm going to need to save this publicly. Otherwise, I have to upgrade. So I'll save it publicly. It's fine. There's no confidential data in it. And now that I've saved, I can go to export and click HTML. Download as zip archive. This sounds a little... Uh, long-winded, but you'll see once we get there. So I'm getting this uh, archived folder now. And the file I want to open in here is called figure. So when I go to open that file, it's going to open in my code editor. And you'll see here, uh, you'll see here that I've got some nicely structured um, JSON code. So as I mentioned before, we were working in the layout section. So that's really all I'm interested in. And if we scroll down here within layout, we're going to find some of the things that I'm interested in, such as, let me uh, close some of these. I don't care about the template. I do care about the pie colorway. So that's going to be our first uh, interesting little bit. So I'll copy that. And now I've got to figure out exactly where to put it. And I've got to test the code and make sure it works. So I'm going to go back to Mendix now. And look, I could just paste it here, which I will. I'll paste it there. Um, I know for a fact that it's going to want some curly brackets to sit inside of. And I'll click OK. Now I'm going to rerun the app. And view the app. Okay, so now I've got something that's looking a lot closer. I've got the colors right at least. I've got the hole. I just got to move that uh, legend. Now, something here that's worth a mention is that in the chart widget, there is a little option here under general called enable developer mode. I've got it set to yes. So uh, when I go back into the app, you'll see I've got this little toggle editor here. This is super handy and it's gonna allow you to see changes you make in the code on the fly so that you can test out what you're doing in real time and then uh, take those changes into something that's uh, more permanent. So what I'll do here is I'll apply the um, legend changes. So I'm gonna go back to uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna look for my legend, which is here. I've got some code for the legend here that looks like it roughly looks like what I want. 
copy that back into my browser this time because I can just paste that code in below this section of code and it's not happy because it's got some it'll show that it's not happy that little X there is showing me it's not happy also I need to comma uh, insert a comma so that it knows that there's another style here and it wants a curly bracket at the end so I can do that there okay so now it's looking a lot better instantly after pasting the code and fixing it up a little bit um, it's looking good so I can then just copy all of that code from the custom settings because I've done some formatting and changed some things I'll copy that go back into Mendix and to my advanced section and now I'm going to uh, select all and paste so now that's got the two custom styles that I want to utilize so I'll hit OK and when I rerun the app I can see that it looks great it looks identical to uh, sort of how I wanted it to look and the only thing you wouldn't want to do here is have the uh, toggle editor thing available to users so before you uh, you know push your code changes you would want to go in and turn that option off just like that and I'll just rerun real quick and now there's no uh, user clickable uh, way to open that style draw so that's looking good before we wrap up the video I want to show you one more um, handy styling tip so when we go back into the Mendix Studio Pro under advanced you'll see that there's an option here called enable theme folder config now what that will do is it will centralize all your styling so that you can have a central repository for all your charts to have the same look and feel which is great that's what you want to do you don't want to be having to you know tweak bits of code here and there you want everything in one place not repeating your code so we'll turn that on and I'm going to copy that content out of there the big question is where is that folder <laughs> But if we go to our app and go show app directory in Explorer, uh, the Medix doc will point you to theme and it kind of says that's where that uh, file should be. But you actually have to go into your, your navigation profile, so web, and it's this file here which you'll have to create. So you have to create a new JSON file called com.mendix.charts. Now when I open that, uh, you can see I've been playing around in it already and this is where I've got um, a bunch of styling for my chart to use. Uh, the important thing to remember there is the location of that. Um, I'll, I'll link to the documentation, I'll link to where that file should be and that will allow you to then use uh, one set of styling across all your charts. So if I open this chart and I make sure that we're using the theme folder and I'll open this chart. I think it's already using the theme folder. It says no, so I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to get rid of the content from there. Um, one thing to note is that uh, this anything in here would still um, potentially be used. Uh, the theme folder takes precedence over this, so or um, preference over this. So if you've already got a style declared in the theme folder, and you have the same style, but maybe with some changes here. The theme folder will overwrite it however if the style is not declared in the theme folder the content here in the custom layout um, will uh, be used uh, but I don't want to do any of that I just want to republish the app and if this is done correctly both these charts should still look identical uh, uh, they look different because to, to, it's a different styling in the theme folder but um, they do look identical so just to recap um, when styling charts in Mendix, make use of the Plotly Chart Maker tool. Export the Plotly Chart Maker content um, so that you get the 
correctly formatted JSON, bring it into the app. You can use the um, uh, you know toggle developer mode to, to test out your changes. You can paste it directly into the custom layout field, or you can go and create a, a, a custom styling file in the theme folder. Thanks for watching.